Hello, this is the Tachibana Corporation coming at you with another tutorial video. And today we will be showing you guys how to make a virtual machine using Oracle's VirtualBox. VirtualBox is one of the more popular emulation softwares out there and it's available for free. And it is available in a large array of operating systems. And after you've downloaded and installed it, you open it. And then you're going to get this interface here. Now, it is very similar between OS's, so it should look just like this when you open it. Since we do not have any here, we're going to go ahead and do New. If there is one existing, you can do the Add button instead. All right. We're going to do Windows 11. Now, as you can see under Type, it has a wide array of operating systems you can emulate. Windows, Linux, Solaris, BSD which we use a lot here at the office, IBM OS 2, which we played around with a little bit, and Mac OS X. And this is very nice because Mac is not very easy to emulate. All right, we'll select Microsoft Windows. And then for version, you can see you can go all the way back to 3.1, all the way up to 8.1, 10, and then server, this is, I assume this is server 2019, 2016, and 2012. Now, since we are doing an unreleased version of Windows 11, we're going to do other Windows 64 bit. Now, the purpose of all this is to set boot flags to make the virtual machine easier to configure. All right, now here is the memory size, which is how much RAM you're getting it. I believe the minimum for Windows is 4096 megabytes, which is 4 gigabytes. And then next, we have to create a hard drive. The recommended size of the hard drive is 20 gigabytes. Well, for Windows, I always recommend at least 40. For a virtual machine, if you're only using it for one purpose and that purpose doesn't take up a lot of space, 40 is a good size. So we're going to go create a virtual hard disk now. But there is the option to create one and already use one that existed. And so there, here are your options for creating it. Now, if you only use VirtualBox, you can go ahead and make a VDI, but the VMDK and the VHD are compatible with other emulation softwares. So depending on your needs, you may select different options. For our needs, we will just use a VDI. So, when you create the hard drive, you have two options. One is dynamically occulated, which means it'll tell the virtual machine how big it is, but not actually be that big yet. It'll write it on demand. Or you can do fixed, which takes a while to build, but that'll be a full chunk of data on your hard drive that is the size that you've made it. Now, it's a lot faster once you've done it fixed, but it takes up all that space all at once. So we're going to do dynamically occulated. All right, and then I will do the 40 gigabytes here. And then as you can see here, it's naming the VDI Windows 11, because that's what I named the virtual machine. And then we'll hit create. And that was pretty instantaneous. If you do the fixed size, it will take you a cool minute to make that. All right. So if, right away, you can see this is your virtual machine settings. Now, first, I'm going to open up my settings. This isn't always necessary, but what I like to do is remove the floppy as a boot option because that's just not realistic anymore. And then you have the option here to set if it's an EFI. And here you can control the processor. I'll go ahead and give it two processors since it's Windows 11. And you can set the execution cap here if you need to. And then there's the option here to mess around with the video settings. This is helpful, the remote display, which lets you use RDP to connect to the virtual machine if you don't want to run it on your local machine. And what's important here is these are the controller interfaces like on a real computer and here is where you attach the hard drive and here's where we attach the disk so since it's a cd drive we're going to go ahead and choose a disk file 
I'm going to go to downloads and I downloaded the Windows 11 ISO here and we're going to do that. So it'll be like we inserted the Windows 11 disk, which you can see right here. The optical drive has the ISO from our computer in it. And then that's the hard drive. And then all we have to do now is start the machine. And with that, that is how you create your first virtual machine using VirtualBox. I do believe that is the end of our video. Thank you guys for watching and let us know down in the comments what you would like us to do a tutorial over next.